Annual inflation has eased to its lowest level in nearly three years. Stats NZ figures show the annual rate fell from 4.7% to 4%. But for organisers of the biggest agricultural show in the country, the positive economic change hasn't come fast enough. Lucy Thompson has more. For more than 160 years, breeders, merchants and punters have flocked to the Canterbury A&P show. But after several challenging years, organisers say it's not financially viable to forge ahead with this year's event. It's really disappointing to hear that news. Uh, the A&P show is really a focal point for the rural community. Livestock judging and competitions will continue without crowds, while the Canterbury A&P Association reviews its current business model to ensure the show can return in 2025. The decision to cancel coincides with the latest consumer price index figures, which show inflation cooled to 4% in March, its smallest increase in almost three years. But economists say price rises this quarter are still above the Reserve Bank's target range of 1 to 3 per cent, so interest rate cuts are still a while off. Domestic inflation is still really high. It's running over three times the rate of tradable inflation. So we need to see that uh, drop before the Reserve Bank's going to even think that it can cut the OCR. The main driver of inflation was once again housing and household utilities, followed by recreation and culture. Kim Mundy says we're still witnessing a shift in spending habits post-COVID. We could get all the goods that we wanted during COVID. We couldn't enjoy the services. So that is still showing up in the data because even though people have been squeezed by the cost of living and higher mortgage interest rates, they are still prioritising spending on those categories. Including prepaid overseas accommodation. Stats NZ suggested that a lot of that was seen in places like Sydney and Melbourne. And if we think about what happened in Q1 of 2024... It's likely Taylor Swift's visit to Australia is to blame. The good thing from the Reserve Bank's point of view is that should wash out in Q2. That's not going to be repeated. Um, but nevertheless, the, the sort of errors tour uh, element was very uh, evident in that data. Data which shows the economy is cooling, but economists say not fast enough. Lucy Thompson, News Hub.